Welcome to Design Your Destiny, your podcast for tapping into the power of your subconscious mind. In this next few minutes, allow me to show you how to tap into that power so that you can create success with ease, form deeper connections, and have greater presence in your relationships, and most importantly, find peace within yourself. My name is Penny Chason, and I'm your host. Hey, hey, joyful souls. I'm excited today because if you've listened to the podcast for any length of time, you know that over a year ago, gosh, has it been two years ago now? I had Justina on the podcast before, and she's back today, really diving into where her life and her career has gone since 2020. And where she is today, what continues to happen and unfold. So if you're not familiar with Justina, Justina Gonzalez is a subconscious sales transformation coach. She helps online entrepreneurs craft powerful offers uh, to scale with ease. She's a mom of two. This is a part of my story that has shifted my own trajectory in the work that I do. And she's partnered with a mental wellness company. Welcome, Justina. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm so excited to be here. Hi. Thank you, Penny. Yeah. What would you like to add to that? Because you just really have a rich story altogether. (laughs) Yeah. You know, it's so funny when people say like, well, what do you, how do you want me to introduce you? What do you want me to say? And it's like, can I sum it up in just a couple sentences? I don't think so. What I really love to do is really dive into the deep mentality of people, right? Like, so I had started my entrepreneur journey as a fitness coach And I loved the idea of coaching and helping people. But what I come to realize is that the fitness, like the the exterior body was just too superficial to me. I definitely love going deeper. I love looking at your thought patterns and getting into the energetics and the frequencies and, you know, the woohoo that some people might say, that's my jam. That's what I love to do. And the reason why is because when I really started paying attention to my thoughts and reprogramming my subconscious and and my energetics, that's when I started to see the biggest shifts, not only in my business, but with my kids, with my relationship in every area of my life. So just to kind of pull this apart a little bit, when you and I first met, you were with the mental wellness company and you and I were in a coaching program together and we both ended up in the business container after that. And in that business container, you know, we learned about subconscious persuasion, sales, marketing. And I was just amazed at how you took to that whole process, you know, just like a fish to water to use an old, old cliche, right? And it just seemed so natural for you. And it really, I think the power of that and how it enhanced your, and this is my observation, so correct me if I'm wrong, the way that that enhanced your mental wellness business really shifted you into a different direction. Yes, yes, yes. So going through that business program, it was intense, right? Like it was, it's definitely hands down one of the best programs I've gone through. I felt like getting an MBA though. It was very intense. We learned a lot. I didn't realize how much my brain was gifted in that area. Like the things that we learned, the marketing and being able to see the whole when I talk to an entrepreneur, I could listen to them and my brain does this weird thing where I could just piece together their entire marketing plan and look at their offers. I'm like, oh, this is what it is. Boom, 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 right? And so I took everything that we learned in that program, I applied it to my mental wellness company and I taught that to my team, the very basics of that. But this is how we should market. This is how we sell with, with um, sell in a really good way, right? That feels good for us and the prospects. And it it really did blow up my team. And I was like, wow. And everyone was saying, just, you know, why don't you coach this? Like this, like, this is your area of expertise. And I didn't see it because it came so natural to me. I'm like, well, doesn't everyone's brain do this? Like, can't you see it like this too? And you're one of the people I remember talking to. You're like, Justina, I rewrote my whole offer just watching your free masterclass. I was like, really? Like just that free stuff, you know, but it's so much fun. And we could go into this a little bit later but really immersing myself in that program was very uncomfortable to me, right? I, I felt not qualified to be there. Like we were working with other entrepreneurs that were making multi, you know, six figures, seven figures, having almost million dollar launches. 
And I'm like over here, this little small, like I felt this little small timid girl, right? Just very insecure, always questioning things, constantly overthinking. I definitely did not feel qualified to be in that coaching container. And there were a couple of situations that really showed me I was more than qualified to be there and even more than qualified to, to bring this into my own coaching business. So yeah, more than qualified. I I recall correctly, there was a little contest where people got to use their persuasion skills and somebody, not me, nailed that. <laughs> I didn't participate. Probably, but <laughs> I mean, I won it. Sure. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, you won know, the contest. I was so excited. I was like, no shit. She won. <laughs> no shit. Do you want to know what really happened with that? I'm going to give you guys the behind the scenes because I definitely love being transparent and showing you guys. I, so yes, I was very committed to learning these persuasion and influence skills because I understand the power of the subconscious mind. And when you could speak the language of the subconscious mind, you could help people get transformational results, no matter what that's in. And so I stayed very committed to practicing these language patterns. And I had a little study group and we would meet every week and we would practice and it was fun. And the day before the challenge, we decided to meet up my study group decided to meet up and I had a freaking meltdown, Penny. I was, I started like almost a panic attack again. I was like hyperventilating and everyone's like, what's wrong? And I had put so much emphasis on wanting to get this right and wanting to be recognized by our coach because I had told him I wanted to be a coach for him. So I was making this competition mean that if I didn't do well, then I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be considered a coach. Right. And so I had all of this baggage that I put onto this stupid challenge. It really was just something fun, you know, and I was crying. I was so stressed about it in the night that night. I really just had to re- come to like releasing it. I did like my own little, here we go, woohoo. I did my own little like um, ceremony and I just released everything. And the next day I woke up and felt completely at peace. I, 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 I gave zero, zero Fs if I won or not, right? Yeah. You said something that's very important. And I think this goes for anyone. You don't have to be an entrepreneur or a business person. But when we put meaning and attachment on something that that we want, we just really get so in our heads. And then if it doesn't turn out the way we expect, that's when we begin the self-flagellation. You know, we start beating ourselves up and you didn't do this right. You should have done that differently. You know what? What if we just chose to do things, to show up and do our best and just enjoy the process. And, you know, I mean, I practice this a lot from time to time. Do I catch myself? But then I pull myself back. I'm like, okay, this is about enjoying getting there. I mean, you coach online entrepreneurs. Where do you see that coming into play? Yes, this is so huge. A lot of my coaching, I mean, I coach business and sales, but what you'll discover when you come into my program is I talk mostly about your energy and your level of attachment to things. As an entrepreneur and online coach, we become so attached to hitting these high financial goals, making this money, having this big launch, putting out this perfect magnetic content that's gonna, you know, people are gonna think that you are amazing. And what if you say something wrong? And it's that level of attachment that really starts to repel everything that we're trying to call in. So what we what ends up happening is we continue to work harder and harder. You feel like you need to write more content. You need to go live more. You need to do more teals and or reels and TikToks, you know, all of this stuff. And yet you're not getting the results that you want. And it's it really comes back down to your level of attachment, your energetics. And so this is one of the areas I help my clients with is let's identify your frequency. What are the thoughts and feelings you have? And I've actually created my own mentally fit thought model that helps people identify this. And it's, it's so important. And I'll have to say like, that was part of my ceremony that I did before I went into this competition is I, I got really present with all of the attachment I put on winning this, this thing. I just try to been fun. Right. And it really helped me start to see in my own subconscious mind, 
all of my limiting thoughts, all of the bullshit stories I had about myself. Like, and I'm like, oh, wow. I thought I took care of that stuff. You know, like I thought I, that was the thing of my past. But what I found is that it's another level. It's just another level deeper. You know, you sharing that reminds me of something in my own past before I knew anything about attachment and all of the, all of the things that we've learned in coaching. And that was when I took my oral boards for anesthesia. I mean, you had 45 minutes with each of four instructors. And if you got one answer wrong with any one of them, you failed your oral boards and they could ask you anything on the subject matter that you learned from them. And I remember the day before one of my classmates who went for her oral boards came and told me what they asked her because I knew those were things they wouldn't ask me because they knew that students would pass one to the other. So they would change it up. And I woke up at 2 a.m. in the morning. I sat bolt upright in bed and I was like, oh my God, like there's this one thing about cardiac, the EKG. It, It was something complicated. I'm like, I don't remember that. So I hopped up. I went into my study room and I promised my husband I won't study another thing after 11 o'clock tonight. Like I'm done. I know all that I know, but I followed my intuition. I went in, I read up on that. I refreshed my mind because I hadn't looked at it for a while. And then that was it. I was done. I cleared my morning. I went and I had a massage. I did some other things and I just let myself know that I had absolutely done my best. And to give you reference for absolutely done my best, I was studying so much that at one point, my husband told me, if you don't back off on the studying and spend some time with family, then you need to move out. That's how bad it was in the six weeks leading up to these oral boards. And um, you know what I did? I chilled out. I relaxed. I had fun. And thank God I followed my intuition because by damn that teacher asked that question. But I knew enough that by the time I got so far into my answer, she's like, okay, great. You obviously know that. And she never made it to the point of what I would tend to get hung up on. So like totally, (laughs) totally, totally, totally bypassed that. But it it was, it was that same thing. It was just like letting go and releasing and saying, you know what? I know what I know. And just show up and be and do, you know, what, what you, you need to do. Yes. For me, when it came to that, what I really had to tell myself what I discovered through my self-coaching and my ceremony before was that I was putting so much emphasis on if I was good enough, right? So it all came back down to self-worth. If I was good enough to be considered a coach, if I was good enough at this, these language patterns, if I was good enough for, to help people get transformation and results. And so what I had to come to remind myself is I've been studying this stuff for a year and I know that what I know is enough. And no matter what happens today, I'm confident in my abilities to continue using it for myself and for my future clients. And like picturing the future clients that I could be helping changed everything for me because it took the attention off of me and really put me into a service mindset. And that's where a lot of entrepreneurs get stuck is you say you want to help people, which I firmly believe majority of entrepreneurs do, right? Like you wouldn't be, especially a coach or hypnotist, or if you didn't have a passion to help people. But what happens instead is our connection and our attachment to money and success drives us more than our desire to actually help people. And it's a subconscious pattern that we're not aware of. And so all of the actions we do is led by our subconscious mind in that way. And so until we could clean that up, yeah, yeah. there's no way to know. I had a lot to overcome in that when I left, you know, a, an hourly, a salary job and went into business for myself, like that's a huge component of the stories, but that's not necessarily all of the stories. I mean, we become indoctrinated from the time we come into this world, into our family's money stories, our family's perceptions of the circumstances by which we live and what's possible, what it means to be wealthy, to not be wealthy. And we can all that haul all that behind us. And then we attach our worth to how much money we make. You know, I've gotten to where I unfollow a lot of people on social media that all their marketing is around money because, you know, we get on social media media, and if you happen to scroll, you know, looking for posts or things from friends, you kind of go into that suggestible state. 
and you're seeing all these posts around money, around money, and if you're not there yet, then it can impact you and you just don't even realize it's impacting you. So I just do my best mm-hmm. to stay away from that. I what love you tell that. your people. I love what you just said about scrolling puts you in a suggestible state. It, it does. I mean, it's like, duh. Any anything that we do that um, we, we don't have to critically think about that we're not being mindful about that scrolling it, it just creates. I mean, there's a degree of eye fixation, you know, when you're doing that, when you're just scrolling and going through. I mean, it's just like TikTok. I mean, I'm going to confess here. Like I've started to put a few videos on TikTok and every once in a while I will go and I will look and see if there's something that I can stitch or duet that complements what I do. And one day it's like there was a funny video and then there's another funny video. Another, I looked up two and a half hours had gone by. That's time distortion. We yes. experience that when we are in trance. Ooh. We experience that when we're so be careful, you know, what you bring in. And I love to see entrepreneurs celebrate, but because in the past I am somebody who really made a big deal about the level of income I brought in and what it meant about me and my ability to show up and be the person that I am and what I do. I avoid those posts. You know, I just, just keep moving, keep moving. Yes. I love it. That's resonates so much, right? Money has been such a big part of my releasing stories. I grew up in a very poor community, a single mom of three kids. We grew up on housing assistance, food stamps, like shopping at thrift stores. And that like, we were living life. Like I had no idea that life could be any better because that's what I grew up around and then enter into this new business world. And I'm surrounded by multiple six-figure, seven-figure coaches. Never in my mind could I even fathom that that was a possibility for me. And I had so much baggage connected to money and what it meant. And, you know, it really came down. This is what I discovered as it came down. If I made too much money, then my family wouldn't love me. And that was a subconscious pattern that was running because my family talked crap about people with money you know? And so in my mind, probably as a kid, I had put together that if you had a lot of money, you were not a good person. And so I really, what I call like, I cocked blocked myself when it came to selling and making money because the subconscious pattern was running. And when I identified that and released it, I, my first official launch, I sold out and I closed over $40,000, which was more than I had ever dreamed of. I was like, what? I watched that. I watched it on Facebook. This yeah. person's in, that person's in. I'm like, Justina is fucking crushing it. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. And I remember telling John, my my husband, I was like, you know, 20K, that'll be good. And he's like, don't you already have five people in? And I was like, oh yeah. And I was like, well, you know, 30. <laughs> and then the next day he's like, didn't you just close? And I was like, oh yeah. Like I wasn't even focused on it, right? Like I was like, so just in my zone of genius, I felt so completely grounded in my ability to help people, what I was offering, like being able to, to talk about what I do in a way that just felt so good for both people, for people watching and for me. And I was like, this is a flow state. Like, this is it. Holy shit. I'm here. Right. And so, and so much of that came from my mentality. It wasn't so much like the strategy and learning all of the things on social media. It was really what I thought about myself and who I allowed myself to become for that moment and what I had to yeah. release. I think that was probably the biggest thing. Yeah. So we're, we're going to dive a little off the deep end here. We're, we're, we're going to go into Wooville for a minute because you mentioned earlier about how it was uncomfortable to be in the business coaching container and then how you didn't realize your brain just naturally allows this to come out. People ask me all the time, they, they reach out to me and, you know, they want hypnosis to help find their dharma. And I don't specifically help people do that, but I help people get out of their boxed in thinking, you know, and I think that one of the things is, you know, when you've found that dharma, it's like, it's what lights you up. It's what feels easy. It's what feels good. It's what feels natural, but you had to get into a place that was uncomfortable. You had to allow yourself to explore before you 
found that. So what would you share about that? Do you have anything to you would add? Oh, my goodness. The subconscious, the hypnosis work allows you to identify some of the limiting stories that could be stopping you, right? And the more that we think and we want to find our dharma, the more we're not going to. Like when you're fixed on that that thing, then you're, you're literally cutting off your flow and the communication to your higher self or your guides or whomever is here to guide you. Right. And that was something I really had to get like, Oh, duh. I am, I'm fully not just protected, but supported. I have so much infinite power and wisdom here supporting me. And I could just call them. Like I literally call up my higher self and I'm like, Hey, I'm about to do this scary thing. I'm going to launch my program. What do I need to know? Like, what do I need to know, see, or do to make the, this the most impactful so I could continue to step on my dharma? And the only thing that I ask is show me the next step, right? So building that connection to, to myself, but I didn't answer your question about the uncomfortableness. After the coaching program was over, we had some of the coaches from the program reach out to me and suggest that I ask to be part of that team. They're like, Justina, you're amazing at selling you would, you know, you would be amazing to join this team. You need to talk to the main coach. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And he had even mentioned something on one of the calls. Like, yeah, we're considering Justina as a sales coach. And my jaw dropped. I had no idea. I was like, are you kidding me? And so in that moment, I was thinking like, this is it. Like this, this is it. This is my big moment. I'm going to become a coach for this amazing, you know, man who I absolutely love and adore all of his work. And then I made it. Like I was putting again, this attachment that I would be a good enough coach if I could be considered to be part of his team. Well, long story short, I'm not a coach for him, right? But instead of really beating myself and getting sad about it, I was like, this is the best gift possible because if I could be considered a coach for him, if I was good enough to be considered a coach for him, then I'm good enough to be considered a coach for me. Like I could do this for myself, right? And that was definitely an uncomfortable part of being rejected, if you will, or getting a no, right? Getting declined or an objection and really looking at it at where's my pot of gold? Like what, what lesson is in this for me? And so every time I'm going through something that feels hard or resistance or uncomfortable, I celebrate it because one, I know it's something I've never done before, right? And it's just my brain trying to protect me. And then the other thing is, I have something to learn. Like there's something in this for me, no matter what. Yeah, I I love that. Totally, totally, totally love that. And I'm going to be completely transparent here. You know, she's talked about the the work that she does and the natural gift that she has. I actually reached out to Justina back in the fall. You've heard me talk about the Ultimate Energetic Alignment Retreat the past few episodes. And I actually had two separate offers and it made it complicated for people to work with me in that capacity. And my business coaches said, why don't you roll these two into one? Well, you know, I was kind of a little too in my head about what I had to offer. So I reached out to Justina. And I have to say that was a pretty freaking amazing 90 minute call in which we put that together and going to that place of, you know, not having to have it be perfect, but to just take your energy, get it out there, let it be easy And I took what we did, and I I think I drafted that registration page in a day, ended up tweaking it a little bit. You and I talked about a couple of things, tweaked it a little bit. Just from the notes that we made, it's like we didn't write the sales page on the call. It's just like you were just putting pieces together and seeing things that I wasn't seeing or hadn't considered in putting that together. And um you know, it, I haven't done any hard launch around that. It's like I've emailed some people, I reach out to some people, I talk about it. And, you know, I have, well, by the time this airs, it won't be five more weeks. But at this moment, I've got five more weeks to enroll people. And it is just naturally filling itself up. And, you know, that feels really, really good. And the reason I reach out to you is because I know your energy. It wasn't about writing sales copy that converts. It's about bringing the energy into it that vibrates with the energy that I have and really digging down into this woo-woo 
<laughs> Some people call it woo-woo. It's the way we're meant to be. We're supposed to live with our, our mind and our, our emotions and our nervous system in alignment with our spirit. And when we get too caught up in our head or too caught up in our emotions, or we're not listening to our intuition or spirit, however you choose, if any one of those three things is missing, then things just don't feel as easy as they could be. And you mentioned calling up your guides. You know, I, I love to use animal cards. And then there's another deck that I'll also use. And, you know, it's just a matter of me saying, hey, you know, like, what do I need to bring to the table today? Like, give me some insight. What's the message to share today? And it's amazing how just, I, I call it spontaneous, but you and I both know none of it's spontaneous, right? Nothing is an accident. There are no coincidences. Everything happens the way it's supposed to be, unless we get into this battle of pushing and shoving and trying to force stuff to happen. And it just makes things so much easier. And I wouldn't do it any other way. <laughs> I wouldn't do yeah. it any other way. I love my woo. I actually told my mother the other day, I, I told her, I said, I have to go get a candle. I, let me just come all the way out here was out of the closet, sun shining, everything to be seen. I told my mom, I said, you know, I was leaving her house. I said, yeah, I said, I got to drive down to Carthage to get a candle. She goes, you got to go to Carthage to get a candle. I said, yeah, I, I need a green candle. She goes, well, I have a candle in there. I said, no, no, mom, it's a special candle. She goes, well, they have green candles at Walmart. I said, no, mom, they don't have the right kind of green candle. What kind of scent do you need? I said, mom, it's unscented. Well, what do you want an unscented candle for? And I finally looked at her and said, mom, it's for my altar. Pin drop. Mm -hmm. Pin drop. And I'm like, you know, it's just a way of setting intention, mom. It helps me to keep my focus on where I want to be. And I just left it at that. I have zero expectation of her understanding and that's okay. Yes, that is okay. Oh my gosh. You said so many <laughs> amazing things. I want to back up to when you're talking about your offer, because I was covered in chills and that's, that's the frequency right? When you could really, when you're talking to somebody, we all are covered in this bubble of energetic magnetic field, this electromagnetic field, everybody has it. And so that's why when you're talking with somebody and you just feel really drawn or you get covered in goosebumps and you just are vibing with that person, even though you may or may not have ever met them before, that's all frequency, that's energy. And so when you could apply that same frequency to your offer, your messaging and everything you do in your business, just imagine the possibilities of the magnetism. Is that a word? Magnetism. Magnetism. magnetism thank you. <laughs> that could be in, right? Like, yes. So, but the same thing is true. If, if there's someone with what I call like, you know, a low vibe or a bad vibe, you could sense it where you're, you're thinking to yourself, like, I don't know what it is about this person. I just don't really care for them. And that's okay. Right. So listen yeah. to those gut instincts. And when you could really apply this to your business, it does Penny, I'm so proud of you. And I love the work that you do. And that's why I'm so passionate. Like we need to craft this offer. So people reading it could understand it and feel it right. It's not yeah. because buying things is emotional. And so when we could tap into that emotional component and that's frequency along with subconscious, it's a win-win situation. Yeah. And you've participated in one component of what's in the, in this retreat, in this offer, because it's now a nine-month experience, but you've participated in the workshop portion of it. And truly, the entire retreat experience is about bringing together the thoughts and the emotions, connecting the mind, soothing the nervous system, and then that connection of energy to spirit so that those three things have the opportunity to line up and just really open things up for people. You mentioned a lot about yourself and the work that you've done. And that was around in 2020, like all these things were happening around the same time. And many times I explain to people that when you do insight-based work, the shifts and the changes that you experience during the period of time of working together, it doesn't stop there. Would you, no. what else has transpired? Because it was September of 2020, the last time you and I chatted, you know, on the podcast, like 
what else has fallen into place? What has transpired as a result of doing that deep work? Oh my goodness. This is, oh, like I just got this really big feeling of gratitude for you and the work that we've done together because that was like taking off the blindfold, right? It was really getting to the root of these deep seated traumas that occurred as a child that were no matter how hard I tried, no matter what coach I invested in, I wasn't making the progress because because I had the subconscious story, right? And for those of you that aren't aware of this yet, our mind is literally, this is how you manifest, right? And so if you have these negative subconscious patterns from childhood experiences, that's going to block you. And you need somebody like Penny to help you realize that, uncover that, and then release them. So that's what is your process is realign. What remind me of it? It's so perfect. release, release, renew, realign. Yes, it's so perfect, right? So, what I discovered working with you was that I had a lot of this self worth, right? Um, I won't go into much detail about it, but as a child, I seen a lot of abuse. My, my dad was an alcoholic, drug addict, sexual trauma as a child, always living in fight or flight. We constantly were. My mom was always trying to escape my abusive dad, right? Just really intense stuff that I just thought it was like, oh, it's fine. It's normal. That was my life. It's not a big deal. But they were playing these patterns. And the way it started to show up was with my own kids. So my oldest is four now. When I was working with Penny, he was just three at that point. And um, is that right? Yeah. And so I just turned three, I think. Yeah, he had just turned three. and. I noticed with him that he was very closed off to love, if you will. He didn't want me to like hug him or kiss him for a long time. And I'm like, how is this possible? And just this like young baby, right? He's only three. And I knew it had to do with me. And so, and then also my romantic relationship with my partner, we, I was blocked to love. That's what it came down to. Right. And it was specifically with men because of my sexual assault, because of my father, like all of these things that Penny helped me identify. And so after working with her, my relationship with my partner became much more intimate and just passionate. It was so amazing. And, but my son instantly changed. I walked out of the room after doing this deep hypnosis session with Penny and he just like swarmed me with a hug. and was like, mama, I love you. And I just started bawling. Like it just felt so much different, right? So fast forward to today or January, 2022, how is this still helping me? The work that we did almost two years ago, I have another baby. I have a second son now. And he's like my love bug. Like he's like so cuddly and loving and happy and joy. Um, My relationship with my partner is, is amazing. We, we are growing together and it's so much fun to be growing with my partner and raising these evolved children, right? We talk about woo-woo stuff in my house. We we cut energetic cords before bed. Like we do all the woo-woo stuff. My my son has his own crystal collection. He plays with my cards. It's like, yes. But more importantly, I think how it's really helped in my business is it's really allowed me to love my clients and connect to them at a heart level. And that's one of the biggest things my clients say is that Justina, she's a tough love coach. Number one, I don't play around. I'm like, let's get to freaking work, right? But also it's more coming from a place of love and they feel so heard and understood. They they explain my coaching container as being like a really sacred place because oh, it's just so good, right? And it's because of the work I did with Penny and uncovering all these limitations that I was putting on myself. You said something that's very important and that is, you said that you thought that everything that you grew up with was normal because it was all that you knew. And that's true for all of us. Like that is our model of reality. Our personality is formed by the time we're age eight. So it's based on everything that we've taken in up to that time. And you can choose differently. When we get older, we can choose differently. We can choose a different path. But until we go in and address the things that happened in those earlier years that created our our patterns and our personality, then we can't fully open up. And does that mean it has to be a big trauma that needs to be fixed? No, it can just be stories that you heard. It doesn't have to be anything that was terribly traumatic to benefit 
from going in and unraveling what was going on, especially when you're finding patterns showing up in your present and you've done all the conscious work, you've done the coaching and maybe even listened to hypnosis audios because a guided session is very different than listening to an audio. They all have their benefits in their place. But if you want to unravel these beliefs, you you have to go in and, and find them. And, you know, if you find yourself in a place where you're just kind of feeling, I don't want to hate the word stuck, but you just, you're just not moving forward and you're kind of thinking, like, hey, God, isn't there more to this? Like I, I've achieved so much, but like here I am, I'm not as happy as I thought I would be, or it feels like there's something missing, then typically it goes much further back. Mm-hmm. The nice thing is the one-to-one work is rapid, it's powerful, and it can be messy. Transformation is messy. It just always is, right? But you don't have to do the one-on-one work. And, you know, that's that's the beauty of the release, renew, realign process is you can go about it in a gentle, subtle way without having to go searching for these things mm-hmm. to unravel them. Yes. And I think there's something very powerful about having that that small group to go through this process with because no matter what, you're all there together for a specific reason, right? Nothing happens on accident. People yeah. come into these networks or these communities to also help you heal in different ways. And so it's this, this community healing process. And I love that so much. And you get to see yeah. people. Yeah. I don't think you'll ever see me leading a large container ever. I, I like the intimacy of it. And, and you're right that Every group that comes together, the people who are there, it's just the right mix of people at that moment in that time. So what would you leave people with in terms of, you know, anywhere that they might be in business in terms of, you know, personal transformation, sales transformation? What's one thing that you would say is most important to get what you want? Oh, my gosh. We've already covered a lot. I can't think of anything else we could add, but I'm sure there's something. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So this is where it's coming down to our frequency again, right? Making it a priority to really manage your mind and be committed to the mental work, whether that's, that's your self-coaching, that's hypnosis, finding somebody that's going to support your mentality that could help you see these blind spots. Um, But also I call this the trust triad of your business where you really just come to trust yourself, right? Trust your clients and trust your offer. And when you could lead with that, then you're really calling in your higher power. Like I always say in trust, there's the word us and it's not just you. It's also your clients and it's also the energetics, like your higher guidance. And always remember that it's up to you to manage your mind, because that is what you're going to get back in this world. And so if you're the type of person or entrepreneur that's done all the things, that's hired the business coaches, that's tried the strategies, and you still aren't where you want to be, or it feels really hard, then just stop doing and take a moment to check in with your where your frequency is. I think that's so important. Are you ready to transform your life mentally? physically, emotionally, and spiritually so that you can create a deeper spiritual connection and live your life with clarity that brings a focus and a calm so that you can be decisive and know what you want and create the opportunities that allow you to have expansion and success in your life, whether it is your business, your relationship with others, or your relationship with yourself. If you're ready for that, then I'm ready to connect with you. I want you to go over to the website, pennychason.com forward slash ultimates. Apply for the Ultimate Energetic Alignment Retreat. I am only taking 11 women on this nine-month journey with me in 2022. So you want to head over there right now and apply today. I want to wrap this up by saying that... um, Justina had reached out to me and she channeled a concept for a hypnosis audio in, in her program. And so she and I worked on that together, but it was truly her concept. 
And, you know, I just reworked it a little bit so that, you know, it followed some hypnotic principles and really drive that change. And it's something that really made a difference for your group. So you're not just helping people craft their offer. You're really helping people transform who they are as someone who serves others from the inside out so they can show up more authentically. And I think it's a powerful way that you've put it together now. And in all transparency, I haven't gone through her program. We just did that one call together. But I know people who have, and and they've spoken very highly of it. So where I want to wrap this up is please tell people where to find you. Uh, When is your next offering come up? How can they get more details around that? Yes, that hypnosis track, by the way, was incredible. My clients, so thank you, Penny, for, for helping me create that. If you want to follow me on IG, my handle is it's Justina Gonzalez. And on Facebook, my name is Justina Gonzalez. Um, I will be launching the, the my program is called the Sought Out Sold Out Mastermind. I will be starting my launch in February 2022, and the doors are opening in March for that next round. It's a very intimate container, no more than 20 people, because it is so personal and high touch, and the frequency of it is just out of this world. I want to be able to make sure it's sacred for everyone inside of there. Um, if you want to follow me more right now, please feel free to do that on IG and um, in the show notes. Can we link up you yeah. know, a link for that? Okay. What else? I want to give you all something. What I would love to do is, so the call that Penny is talking about, I have a 90 minute offer optimization call. Typically that call is 555. For any of you listening, coming through Penny, I'm happy to give you a 20% discount off of that. Um, so if you are an online entrepreneur and you are, you know, have too many offers out there, you're not able to scale with it, or you're not able to talk about it in a way that feels confident and comfortable and the energy just isn't there, then I'd love to support you on that. So Penny, if that's okay, I could drop that here too. That's, that's fantastic. And I'm going to tell you, if you are listening, it's a bargain at 555, like, so just, just do it. Right. I, I, you know, if you have any question about your offer, uh, run, don't walk. And if she's giving you 20% off, I mean, you just really, it's going to be win, win, win all the way around. So thank you, Justina. I'm so happy you were here today. It was great to connect again. Thank you. And thank you for everything that you do. If you guys have not worked with Penny, I highly recommend her work. So thank you. Thank you so much. Love you too. Bye. Thank you for listening today. If you've enjoyed this episode of Design Your Destiny, I would appreciate it if you would head over to iTunes and leave a positive review. When you leave a positive review, it's like podcast currency, and we can increase our reach and get the message to even more people that they, just like you, have the ability to design their destiny. And remember, subscribe on your favorite podcast platform.